sailboats to go canoe stabilizers today. The stabilizer consists of the crossbar, which is a fixed element available in different lengths according to the width of your canoe. It gets clamped on the canoe here. Are you showing the canoe, Sophia? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then two telescoping float arms that slide inside channels in the crossbar. There's two channels so that one can slide in this side, one can slide in the other side, and they won't meet in the middle so you can fully retract your floats. Gunnel clamps, this is, these are the devices that hold the uh, main crossbar to your canoe, and then floats. We offer two styles of floats. This is the hydrodynamic float, 42 inches long, 6 inches wide, and it's streamlined, and it's stronger, which is good for motoring or sailing. Ethafoam floats are lower in price, they're lighter, and they're great for paddling or staying in one place, fishing or swimming. Ethafoam is a uh, solid, resilient foam. It's not going to chip, crack, break, and it's extremely light. Okay, let's uh, begin by clamping the crossbar onto the canoe. So you have a long leg and a short leg. The long leg bears against the underside of the crossbar. The short leg bears against the underside of your canoe gunnel lift. Now all canoes have a lip on the gunnel, either on the inside or on the outside. And when you order your canoe stabilizer, need to tell us both the width of the canoe and whether the lip is on the inside or the outside. If it's on the outside, the clamps are going to go on the outside, and so the crossbar has to be four inches longer than the width of the canoe. So we put this where we want it. Could go front, back, or middle. Put this where we want it, and then we just tighten up these thumb nuts on the underside to hold it in place. Clamps can slide anywhere along the crossbar, so even though this is a pretty wide canoe and a pretty long crossbar, I could put it on the narrowest canoe just by sliding the clamps closer together. The disadvantage of a long crossbar is, of course, you wouldn't be able to pull your floats in tight to a narrow canoe. The advantage is the farther apart the floats are, the more stability you get. The leverage is the principle that multiplies the flotation of the floats to give you lots of stability. Having these floats out on long lever arms is what makes the whole system work so well. Okay, now these are the telescoping float arms. And you see they're adjustable. You just press down on that button. You'd be 
you go all the way in with them. You have the inner button hole or the outer button hole. Okay, let's demonstrate the ether foam floats. We've got a uh, clamp here. It's almost like the battery clamp on the terminals of your car battery. And you can adjust the float height. You could have it all the way down like that, which with some weight in the canoe, the canoe on the water, that would put it right down on the water. Or for paddling along, sailing along, you would put it up like that, and it would be like training wheels on a bike for somebody who already knows how to balance pretty well. You don't want them dragging all the time, but you do want them there to catch you if you start to tip. Then once you've got it where you want it, you tighten the clamp by turning this hand nut, and now it's secured. If I get into a narrow location, I can bring that tight against the canoe. Hydrodynamic float is shipped with the bar stowed in this groove. We just pull the pin, turn it, stick it back in the hole, line up that little hole with the holes in the float, and push the pin back through. Now it's all set to go. The float arm is the same on both styles of canoe stabilizer. The only thing that's different is the floats themselves. There we go. With the addition of our optional high seat SR seat top, you can turn your stabilizer into a nice wide seat. The high seat SR top attaches right to the top of the stabilizer crossbar. Exactly what I did. Jim likes it, owner of okay, okay, okay. who's going to demonstrate okay, okay. the canoe stabilizer. Now, mm -hmm. I would like to introduce you to Jim Luckett from Sailboat to Go, who's going to introduce you. Who's going to. I can't do this yet. Who's going to demonstrate the canoe stabilizer. Okay. I, I, would, like you to, I would like to introduce Jim Luckett of Sailboat to Go, who is going to show you how to put together the canoe stabilizer.